Hi there, this is James from Junior Developer Central and in this second video in our tutorial series about using Postman, we'll actually be sending a post request. Uh, so we'll see how we can set those up in Postman. Um, so you'll probably be familiar with post requests from when you're completing uh, a web form and you want to actually submit some data to the uh, server to kind of do something with it. And the, the post request is generally something that you use when you want to create a new resource or add something into a database. Um, but for our example, we'd, we'll be doing something slightly different, but we will be using a post request and see how that all fits together. So let's take a look at the script that I've created. And it's a very basic email validation script. So the kind of thing that you might use if uh, someone was submitting a form and you wanted to check if they'd actually uh, given you a valid email on, on the back end. Um, but we're just going to be using it in this video just to receive data and see how you can do some processing and send a response back to the user. Um, so just quickly running through it, there's just a function that checks whether or not a, a string that is passed in is a valid email. And in our request, what we're actually doing is we're checking the post variable. So in PHP, that's a, a special global variable that receives all of the post data that's sent uh, to it. And we're just checking, first of all, if the variable set, and it's also an array, um, if it is, uh, we'll just assign it th that value. Um, but if not, we'll just assign this emails variable uh, a blank array. So hopefully that should cut down on the amount of errors that we're actually going to get, but we might want something a bit more robust if we were using this in a production environment. So once we've got our array of data from the user, from the post request, we're going to set up a new variable uh, which actually filters all of those emails, uh, or at least what we think are emails that have come from the request uh, with the isValid function. And then finally, we just set the content type to application JSON and JSON encode those valid emails. So hopefully what we should get back on the other side of the request is a nice array of emails which have been validated in a JSON format. So that's in a nutshell what the script does. Let's actually see how we send that post request using Postman to actually test that this is working. So back over in Postman, if you just load that up, if you want to follow this through, and we just create a new request, and obviously click on request to create a new uh, basic request. And I'm just going to say this is, call this uh, validate emails, and I'm just going to save it into the local request collection that I've created. Okay, and that just basically gives us a new tab that we can play with and obviously you can save this and store it for later use. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just change the method of the request that we're sending to post. So we're going to actually send that post request and I'm actually going to use a local host again and I've got a, I think actually thinking about it, it was email validator is the name of the script. And I can actually just send that request straight away. And because the PHP script has been configured to check for the existence of a particular property name, namely emails, uh, if we see there in the script there, we're looking for the an array of values in this emails property. And um, because that's not there, we're just getting a blank array back. So we can see that just sending the actual request on its own uh, is working fine. And as expected, we're getting a blank array, which you can see down there. So what we've done so far is nothing different from creating a get request, which we covered in, a, in the first video. So what we actually want to do is send some data across uh, to the PHP script. And we do that in Postman using the body tab up here in the request section. Okay, so uh, there's different ways that you can send your data. Um, you might find that if you're doing a JavaScript based request, you might want to send your data in application JSON, uh, which is fine. Um, but for our purposes, we're going to use the X triple W form URL encoded format. And that's generally the format that a web form would send. And it's kind of how PHP is configured to expect data. So in that post variable, that global store where all of the, the data comes from, will be that this is where it's going to be expecting the data to come from. So uh, you can see that automatically sets a header value for us to make sure that the data that we're sending is in the correct format. Uh, so it's just a convenience function provided by Postman. And what we do is in here, we just type in the values that we want to send. Uh, so for example, james at juniordevelopercentral.com. And this will send a value of my email address uh, in the emails property. 
So this would very much be like if this was an input box on a web page, this would be the name property of the uh, particular input field, and this would be the value that the user types in and submits through the form. But we're actually wanting to send an array of emails so that we can test and validate several at once. So in a similar way that you would do in a HTML form, we'll just put the square brackets after the emails key, uh, and that will just configure the request to let PHP at least know that the property that's coming in is uh, an array. Okay, so now if we send that request, you should see now that the request has changed and instead of getting a blank array coming back, the string that we've sent is actually going through that filter function and is obviously coming back okay because that looks like a genuine email address to PHP. So we can add a few more of these emails in here just to test that. So let's just say test at example.com and let's just put a bad one in there as well. So we'll say just something like that. Okay, so let's send the request now and see what happens. And when it comes back, you can see that the array has been filtered. So uh, the values that we've passed in up here, um, only the genuine email addresses, or at least what PHP considers to be a, a genuine email address, uh, is returned back to us in an array. So we can see how we can configure Postman to send data to the script. And obviously this particular PHP script has been configured to do a certain task. And then we can check the results to, to see if it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. So if you can imagine that you were implementing this email validation script into some part of your application, or even just checking that a web form is working correctly, you can actually just send a request directly to the script and just check it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. So it makes it far easier for troubleshooting problems, especially if it's a new part of the application that hasn't been fully integrated yet. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, just drop me a comment and like the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and web development tips.